all the doors, all the doors are locked. So I guess we have to walk around to the front. It says receiving entrance, but ain't no doorbell. Guess we walk around to the front. It's my first time coming to this place. I wonder where they're gonna unload me. I mean, I can hit the dock, but they can't unload me from the rear. Side unload. Now, if I would have known, I, I could have went to the front office. I would have parked back here. Look at this beautiful grass. Should I be walking on it? I wonder if there's anybody here. Ain't no cars in the front. Let's hope for the best. Hopefully somebody's up here. Oh man, I think this place is closed. And I actually called them on the way here. Nobody answered the phone when I called, so I just assumed. I don't know what's going on. When I picked this load up, I was actually supposed to pick up a load going to Greenville, North Carolina. But when I got the paperwork, which is in my hand, always check your bills because I always check my bills to make sure the receiving address is the same as the address that I got on my Qualcomm. I was supposed to go to Greenville. My paperwork said Lexington. So I went inside the office and was like, hey, I think I had a wrong load. And he was like, nah, that's the right load. So got a little bit of logistics logistics issues but yeah something's definitely something definitely going on i think this place is like brand new or something so that load i i this is the first time this ever happened to me today easter monday so guess what receiver was closed i try again tomorrow I tried to get a little more talking in ahead of time, but my damn phone kept ringing. We're gonna see how it goes in the morning.
Dang, this is a pretty dangerous load right here, fellas. All this loose stuff up front. Very loose. This is a dangerous load. You gotta, you gotta act like you're in elementary school with the egg on the spoon. That's how you gotta drive with this load. Trust your securement. Drive like you got some sense. Easy binders. I ain't going nowhere. The best thing smoking right now. Invest in some easy binders. Link is in my bio. Hey, Fort Bragg is over there. Fort Bragg, Army Base. That's why it's a lot of helicopters flying through here. A lot of people ask me this question. And like, how do you keep people from stealing your easy binders? But this, you see this little chain that I'm holding? This is what takes the slack out before you start ratcheting it down. That part right there. So just, just remember this part right here. I'm gonna show you something. So that little chain part that I just showed you. Right here. I got these locks. I got, a, I got a box of these locks. I wanna say I got like 14 of them. I don't know how many this is right here. However many easy binders I last used. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It's seven. I got seven locks right here because last time I used seven easy binders and I locked all seven of them when I got to the truck stop. So all of these locks, they take the same key. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Now, now of course I know that somebody can use a, a bolt cutter and cut them. But what's the odds of somebody walking through the truck stop with a bolt cutter? Like they're gonna attract a lot of attention. So for the casual person just walking by my truck and sees these easy binders, they're probably gonna keep it moving. You see what I'm saying? So this is what I do. I take this lock, I run it through here like that. And then I hook it to the chain. Just like that. So if anybody happens to, you probably not gonna be able to get no slack out. Cause once you pop it down, this part's gonna come up. See, it got a little play on it now, but usually I will hook it down here. But you know, just for video purposes, I'm just showing you. So when they take that off, you gonna have to take the whole damn chain off the damn trailer. <laughs> so like I said, 
somebody walking through the truck stop, you're gonna draw a lot of attention running through the truck stop with some chains coming off of down off somebody's truck. So that's how I do it. Now I'm not gonna ride with the with the lock up there because if I had to pull over, do a load check, I got I gotta unlock it. But when I get to the truck stop tonight, because I'm about to be, I'm only like 30 minutes from the house right now. I put the lock on. There we have it. Now, if anybody wants to buy some of these locks, all you gotta do, go on Amazon, type in padlocks, but you gotta put the keyword, key the same. Padlocks, key the same. It'll pull up some of these right here. I, hey, I want to say, I want to say I had like a box of 20. <laughs> because I remember, I remember this uh, other driver. I was I was somewhere with this other driver. And she didn't, matter of fact, I got these same locks on my headache rack. And she didn't have a lock on her headache rack. So I was like, hey, driver. It was a woman. I said, hey, driver, I got you a lock. And each one of these locks, when you buy them on Amazon, each one comes with two locks, two keys per lock. I think I got two up here right now. So I gave a lock to a driver. She didn't have any on her headache rack. So, hey, you never know, man. You never know when Big Snow might see you. Big Snow might happen to give you a lock. Hey, make sure y'all like this video, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you can get every video when it drops. Make sure y'all do all that for your boy, Big Snow, man. Now, this load right here, I don't know what they teach y'all in truck driving school, but if anybody sees this load, you know, of course, in a perfect world, you would use belly straps. In a perfect world, this ain't a perfect world. We, we're going to get on down the road. <laughs> I'm only going like 120 miles. So, you know, I do these loads quite often out of this shipper. So, you know, sometimes I roll up out of here. This load probably weighs about, it looks like a lot. It looks like a lot of steel up here, but I think this load only weighs like 35,000 pounds. That back, that back area, I got six straps over the top. Six straps over the top back there. So it, it looks like it's a lot, but it ain't, it ain't too much. I pull wire loads out of here. Wire loads that... They only weigh like 25,000 pounds, but you would think it's heavy. Let's check the paperwork. Hey, guess what? 32,000 pounds. That's how much this load is. I said 35, it's 32,000. Make sure y'all share this video with your friends. If you need a job, make sure you call that number right there. It comes straight to me. So if you want to get in touch with Big Snow, Welcome Blackhawk. Thank you, America. Thank you, America, for keeping us safe. <laughs> hey, Fort Bragg, man, they should have the most highly trained pair pair jumpers in the world, cause all they do is fly around all day. And if and if you know anything about Fort Bragg, they call it they call themselves the the 82nd Airborne. They jump out of planes here, at Fort Bragg. And and I live in Dunn, like 30 minutes from here. Whenever they do their field training and they go out in the woods and shooting those, uh, I don't know what they're shooting, high whistles or something. Man, you could, if you live in Fayetteville, you can definitely hear it. But in Dunn, 30 minutes away, because they training fields are like in Spring Lake. So I can hear it, you can hear it in Dunn. Boom, 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 all night. So I guess that's why all the area right around like right out right behind my trailer it's like projects so it's like all projects right outside the front gate because ain't no rich folks gonna want to live over here look at the helicopter coming back around yeah that's all they do fly around in circles all day all day but all right man i'm out of here man flatbed gang i love y'all make sure you keep up with me man because i will be on youtube a lot more man i'm out That ain't going nowhere.